Hello. Um, oh, there we go. I was looking at the wrong thing. Okay, let me set up the bot so we can have an awesome stream. <clears throat> there we go. Uh, let me mute that so you can't hear it. Cut this, paste it in the bot. Where is the bot? Uh, connect. Yes. Stream URL. Paste. Connect. All right, sweet. There we go. Um, so let's go ahead, jump into chapter 882 of the One Piece manga. Um, we'll see how it goes. Uh, what's up, Xanax? So I was thinking, if you were being, were you being sarcastic about this chapter not being that great? Oh, hold on. Let me. I'll be right back in two seconds. Uh, I'm just gonna do this live stream and then head to bed because I gotta wake up early. Um, is chat not working? Oh my goodness, chat, come on, work. I see that you said not much me, but it doesn't want to work. Oh well. Um, I hope this chapter is actually worth reading. Um, either if it's not worth reading from what I see right underneath my chat where it says Roger Bass is in, in the uh, recommended then that just means uh, he either overreacts or you were sarcastic with me uh, unless the double released another chapter let's see because I only see like Roger Bass uh, talking about 882 and it's just kind of one of those things where it's just like, if it's not a good chapter, don't try and make it, like, don't force yourself to like it. You know what I mean? Like, all respects to him, but be real. You know what I'm saying? Uh, dropping the li dropping in on the lives of the Straw Hat Grand Pirate Fleet, Volume 16. Ideal arc in the middle of our voyage on the boat. We got from Orlumbus. Who's, oh, okay, okay, I see who that is. I see who that is. That's the dude with the arms, uh, from what I can tell. All right, so the title of the chapter is Beyond the Expectations of a Yonko. That was weird. Uh, that's a pretty dope picture. It's got Luffy and Katakuri. Oh, this one's dope here. Uh, it has Shiki, um... Roger, Whitebeard, Big Mom, Shanks, Blackbeard, Kaido, Garp, the Admirals. We're still missing whoever that new Admiral. Um, yeah, they released 882. The chapter I read was another version of 881. Did I miss it? I did 881 last week, right? Now you got me. Now you got me confused. Did I do 881? Uh, you got me confused now. Yeah, eight eighty one is okay. Eight eighty one is where they ended off with the cool weapon. So here we go. Okay, so the tip of the spear swivels towards him. Most people do not die because they want to. Deaths generally are unwanted occurrences. Uh, somebody's making some noises behind them. Uh, that's right. Hurry up and get killed already, Straw Hat. Branch. <laughs> Branch. It's brulee. Uh, we're gonna go read 882. All right, sweet. I'm gonna read it too, but just live stream when I do it. Um, that's okay. Do not die because they want to. That's generally our unwanted occurrences, except for Kaido. See, that's one of those things where Oda's language here is definitely foreshadowing. Uh, wee wee brother dog tooth, you see. Just isn't your average. Okay, here we go. Brother dog tooth isn't just your average undefeated fighter. Since the day he was bored, this man has never once fallen. He's superhuman. 
So that's similar to Kaido. The very moment he was born, he got up, sat himself down in a chair, and fell asleep. And from that legendary beginning, never once has he ever laid down. He looks down on the ground itself. Enough brulee. So he's kind of modest to himself, which is pretty cool as a character, seeing somebody of that nature being kind of modest. Uh, always gallant, calm-headed, and powerful. Everything about him is perfect. That's the kind of person our brother Dogsuth is. Uh, he's the greatest fruit the Charlotte family tree has ever produced. Uh, I'm shocked that a lowlife like you has the gale to even challenge him. Luffy's mad. Shut up already. Get lost. So he's punching at her. Oh my goodness. Dogtooth catches it. He catches it and stops her and says, Don't you dare lay your hand on my sister. Um... God, he just threw Luffy. He absolutely just threw him. Uh, Moki. Ooh, that's a big weapon. That's a big... Oh, jeez. Moki pounding. Uh, it says, Kanji reads Moki thrust. Oh, Jesus. So the spear is uh, spinning... Oh, it's kind of like Luffy's one attack where he spins his, uh... Did he dodge it? Okay, he dodged it. That's good. Yeah, it's kind of like that one attack uh, where Luffy, like, twists his arm and then hits the guy and then they go spinning off. I don't remember what that attack is called. Uh, that was close. Alright, let's see here. Oh, oh my god. He destroyed that wall. So the spear is like glinting. Uh, the spear is named Mole. Uh, arms, legs, tell me which part of your body you don't want anymore. I'll tear them off. Jesus. Uh, his neck brother start there. Shut it already, lady. Wee oui, wee oui, wee. Oui. I heard everything, Straw Hat. I know about your rendezvous point. Oh, jeez. No, that's not good. That's not good. Uh, okay, so we will get to inside Big Mom territory at sea. Their ship is still safe. Uh, can we play that wave game again? Are you sure, Brulee? Yes, I heard their voices. Uh, can we already please? Uh, this candy monster created a tsunami and sent them to the depths. How in the world could they have escaped? Uh, I don't know, I just know they did. They're alive, and tonight they'll show up on Kakao Island. That's what they promised. Straw Hat Luffy, I'm sure of it. That is, without knowing that that's also our final destination. Mm-hmm. Uh, Mama, your precious cake is on Kakao Island. Pudding's making the cake on Kakao. One way or another, that's where all this will come to a heat. That See, I don't like this. Uh, wedding, huh? Wait a second, where are you going, Mama? Is that the, like, Peanut, uh, the Mr. Peanut Man, or whatever it's called? Uh, we can't afford to get sidetracked. That's Nuts Island. Uh, the ship didn't go there. The cake was taken to Cacao Island. So she wants the Nuts Island now. Uh, Mirror Island. Oh, my God, everything's getting destroyed right now. Jesus. Um... So he's still using that same mimicking attack uh, where he mimics Luffy's moves. <sighs> Luffy dodged that barely. What is that twip? So did he get hit and his head got knocked down? Um, yeah, he did. So he kind of did. Uh, he always attacks again in the direction I dodged to. Uh, I'm getting twice... As beat, same here. Uh, people don't dodge my attacks this much. This is stressing me out. Wow, so that's that's very good plot point. Flowing mochi. Uh, the ground became mochi. Uh, it's that thing Doflamingo did. Uh, of course, my powers are awakened. Um, crap, oh my goodness. So... I like how, like, quick he is to admit that he was awakened. So we knew he was awakened. Uh, 
Uh, the ground became milky. It's that thing Doflamingo did. Of course, my powers are awakened. So Luffy's about to go gear forth. He bites his arm. Uh, gear forth. I'm intrigued. So here we go. Uh, whole cake, sweet city. This is really weird. Roar. Roar. I can't get any information on the whereabouts of the Straw Hat ship. What are the Slee Slug transmitters doing? <clears throat> Roar. Uh, there's enough in our network that you'd probably hit one if you just chucked a stone into the water at random. There's no way that their ship can pass through that completely undetected. Oh, so that's uh, Peckham's roaring. Or he's wailing. Shut up already, Peckham's. How long are you going to wail? Uh, big bro Pedro. Oh, so he knows. Uh, I feel his pain. After all, his lifelong friend, his mentor, chose to die by self-destruction. Yeah, and he was our enemy. Um, oh, dang, you, you read that quick, Xanax. Uh, the Straw Hat Pirates will be the ones to one day lead this world to a new dawn. Uh, even it was a bit taken back a more. Okay, so after all this... Uh, so that's Pedro talking. Jeez. <clears throat> so Pedro even is kind of like, look, these guys are the real deal. Uh, I think back to Pedro as he was five years ago crying and begging to be spared. That man saw fit to lay down his own life to let those pirates set sail. So everyone's saying, like, so what? Uh, I believe we may have severely underestimated Straw Hat Luffy or Saul. So yeah, no, they definitely underestimated them. And think about this, they're also fighting at half, half force. Uh, yeah, right, pirates are no big deal. Uh, look at the ruins of Mama's castle strewn around you. Can you still say that? That was just an accidental occurrence. An accidental occurrence, and I assume the sea slugs are accidentally missing their ship. Uh, what are you trying to say? That they planned all of this from the start? At the very least, ever since the Straw Hats showed, we've had a lot of unexpected accidents. No, here's the thing. More like a third. Yeah, you're right. No, big time. Big time. Definitely. And then on top of that, it's the unexpected accidents. Well, the thing is, the Straw Hats just bring mayhem. And that's why I love them. Uh, the proud ruler soon loses his crown. Uh, we cannot afford even the smallest chance of Mama's name being besmirched. Uh, we should dispatch powerful ships to the furthest reaches of our territory. Yeah, he's he's a good commander for sure. Zoro and Sanji aren't fighting at all. Yep. And I mean, even Frankie. You can't like forget about Frankie. Uh, per uh, Lord Montdor, a call from Lord Custard. Uh, he was chasing the gay, wasn't he? Did he end him? Uh, no, it seems they lost sight of his ship. It seems the sea slug channels have stopped relaying information on their location and investigate the sea floor at once. Roger, what the heck is going on? Uh, inside Big Mom territory at sea, Begay's group. There should be more of them coming after us. So we're at, we're back at uh, and us point zero zero three percent. Yeah, God Usopp. We can't forget about God Usopp. Uh, there should be more of them coming after us. So we're at uh, Capone's group now, Begay. Uh, it looks like their sea slug aren't reacting to our Denden Mushi. I've never heard of such a thing, but it sure is convenient. Hurry to Cacao Island, fire tank pirate ship Nostro Castello. That is a heck of a ship. Uh, oh my goodness. Uh, we're going straight to Chiffon as the crow flies. Roger. So the sea slug aren't reacting to the Denden Den Mushi. I've never heard of such a thing. So what does that mean? Hmm, interesting. Uh, gotcha. Reports in from the German ship Neustort. Uh, brother, what's the situation with the Germa? Our 10,000 strong force decimated them. Their entire country is in shambles, just what I'd like to hear. But don't tell me, and then he's grinning. Uh, don't tell me. Oh, that's him faking it. That's them faking it. Oh, no. Uh, you didn't destroy their cloning systems, did you? 
Uh, of course not. Those are what we were after, right? So the Germa, the Germa are in full full force, and it's nice to see them again for real. Um, I'll explain why at the end. Uh, however, everything else is barely recognizable. Wahaha, well, that's how it should that's how it should be. Those damn Germa, they should curse their stars for having run afoul of us. Uh, what happened to the Straw Hats? To be honest. We accidentally let them set off. They're fleeing straight west, but they should be dealt with in a matter of time. Move out. Ready the ships. They're going to save the Straw Hats. Uh, Peerless Force, the German 66. Yeah, they're going to they're gonna save the... Oh, that's a pretty good picture of Pedro. I like it. It's like in memory of... Oh, this is... Dude... This is hands down the coolest picture uh, anyone has ever done. I've this is hands down the best one for sure. Okay, eight eighty three is next week. All right, that was that was a good chapter. I'm definitely gonna I'm gonna give that one a good. It was, it was a decent chapter. It wasn't anything bad. But yeah, you're probably right that the fresh the freshman wow fishman definitely had to have. Uh, Messed with them for sure. Let me reply to this one message while I pull up the um, 78. I was gonna give it an 80. Um, why don't you give it a B? Tell me why you don't give it a B in the meantime while I pull up the cheat sheet. Um, what do we use? What's the cheat sheet we use? Uh, one piece chapter 882 wikia. Oh, Jesus, is it not up? All right, come on now. <clears throat> Let me do the search bar 882. There we go. Chapter 882. Awesome. We got it. We got it pulled up. Uh, okay. So let me go ahead and hit record in a second. I don't think there's going to be... Here, we'll talk about this in, in, a, in a couple seconds. Mm, all right, three, two, one. What is up, guys? Olive Grummer here, and I just finished reading live uh, reaction and review to uh, One Piece Chapter 882. Uh, go ahead and subscribe to the main channel and the live stream channel if you want to catch it live at uh, Olive Grummer YT. Uh, it's in the sub it's in the recommended here on the side or whatever. Just go to the main channel and uh, as you can see, chat. So we're doing this live, and if you want to catch it again, subscribe to the live stream channel um, and the social media here. Go ahead and add that, follow that, um, and we can keep in contact. So let's go ahead and jump into it. Xanax gives it a 78. Uh, G-Boy, hey, what's up, G-Boy? How you doing? Uh, Xanax gives it a 78. I'm giving it a 80. I don't know. It's close between a real, really high C and a really low B. Um, it was, it was a decent chapter. It wasn't anything like horrible, but uh, it was, it was, it was a decent chapter. I mean, we basically got um, awakened, confirmed by. Um, Katakuri, so we know he is definitely awakened, which kind of makes sense because I don't understand why he wouldn't be awakened at this time. You have Doflamingo who is awakened, and now you have somebody who seemingly is stronger than Doflamingo. Um, it's just one of those things where it's just like, if he's not awakened, I'm kind of like, I would be surprised. So, um, there's a lot of like. Oda foreshadowing in this chapter, especially when he said death comes uh, on accident and not when somebody wants it. That kind of reminds me of Kaido. Uh, well, Katakuri said that. So it kind of reminds me of Kaido who purposefully wants to kill himself and wants to die and put himself out of misery. So it's just kind of one of those things where it's just like, is Oda foreshadowing? Um, but it also kind of contradicts itself because Pedro killed himself. Like, he wanted to die, so he chose to die. So it's just one of those things where um, what, what is he trying to say here? Um, 
So it's just one of those things. Uh, let me read some of these comments real quick. Uh, Fishman probably messed with the sea slugs. Okay, yeah, yeah. Well, let me re quickly review the actual chapter itself so I don't miss any points, and then we'll discuss some uh, things I want to talk about. Uh, Brule knows about Straw Hat's meeting place and informs Pero Sparrow. Uh, he tells Big Mom to head for Cacao Island. It is revealed that the giant wave made by the homie Big Mom created from Pero Sparrow's candy sea slug. Oh, okay, okay. Interesting. Uh, Katakuri is a awakened devil fruit user confirmed. His spear is named to be Mogura, also known as, what was the English name? Um, they named it something in, uh, Mole. Mole Earth Dragon. Okay, yeah, that's why. So it just digs. It basically digs. His power with that spear is unbelievable. Uh... Uh, I'm gonna read the comments in a few in a minute or two. Uh, the Fire Take Pirates escaped Whole Cake Island, and Big Mom Pirates lost track of their ship. Makes sense. Uh, the name of the Fire Tank Pirates ship is revealed to be Nostra Castello, which is a monster ship. It's like a tank mixed with a ship. It's it's a dope ship. It's awesome. Uh, the Fire Tank Pirates are en route to Cacao Island, so we're about to have another meet up. Everyone's gonna meet. The whole cake island is not gonna end. It, it really isn't gonna end. Uh, as much as I want it to end, I kind of don't want it to now, and I'll explain why in the uh, discussion. Uh, the Vinsmoke family defeated the Big Mom Pirates group that was pursu pursuing them. So German sixty six defeated them and pretended to not defeat them. Uh, they pretended to be uh, the minions or whatever, and um, said that the Vinsmoke families were. Destroyed. So yeah, Niji tricks Mount Dor into thinking that German 66 has been crushed. The Vinsmokes decide to set sail for Cacao Island. Panaman can be seen among the mound of defeated Big Mom pirate members. So for those who know about, uh, for those who know about uh, Pandaman and that Easter egg, um, that's awesome. Uh, it's cool to see Pandaman, even though I didn't notice him in the beginning. All right, so here we go. Here we go. We have. Um, so let's let me read some of the um, comments, and then I'm going to discuss everything that I want to talk about in this chapter. Uh, Fishman probably messed with the sea slugs. I agree with that. Um, I don't know why I didn't think of it, but yeah, no, I definitely agree with you on that one. You gave it a 78, Xanax. Uh, don't like Luffy going to Gear 4 since it's wasteful. Yeah, so... Luffy was saying, I'm about to go into Gear 4, and he... And Katakuri was like, I'm intrigued. Like, why are you going gear forth? It's not going to stop me. It's not going to save you. Um, I also don't think Luffy is awakened any time. And I'll explain it to you guys why I think that in a second. Um, feels like they're prolonging gear 5. I don't think he has gear 5, to be honest with you. I just don't. Uh, I want Whole Cake uh, to end really badly. Yo, I'm done with Tech Angel Goku a mess. Hey, man, because I put both of them in single summons. Nice, G-Boy, nice. I think Dofi is stronger than Katakuri when you take in the Devil Fruit advantage. I agree with you. I think Doflamingo is way stronger than people give him credit for. And I'll explain why, because we'll do the comparison. Uh, I'm ready to know when Luffy will meet his father face-to-face. -face. I feel like Luffy wouldn't know what to do uh, when he meets his father. I'd rather see Shanks fight Blackbeard than Luffy meet Dragon. Agreed. Blackbeard is the cause of my fave... Flame, flame, fruit user, ace, death. Uh, I need to read the manga. I only know gear three. Well, I hope you don't get spoiled for anything. But let's go ahead and discuss some of these, um, some of these theories and stuff that uh, I want to address. Katakuri being able to, um, let's see, let's see here. Katakuri being able to predict Luffy's movements reminds me a hundred percent of a Nell. Um, it's just one of those things where it's just like, we remember when they called it Mantra, Anel and the other guys, the four priests or whatever, were able to predict all of the movements uh, that Luffy could do because they didn't know what um, hockey was at the time. You know, uh, it was observation hockey, what they had, and it was to the extent where they could predict moves. Well, you take that into effect, now you have... Um, now you have an steroid 
induced observation hockey. You know what I mean? And Anel does, yeah, he does use a trident like Katakuri does. You're exactly right. So I'm seeing a lot of similarities here. Um, it's just one of those things where it's just like, because Oda does like using similarities. You know, we have a lot of things um, here and there. So it's just kind of like, I see a lot of similarities. And then we saw Luffy beat Anel because Anel was, you know, I guess weak to rubber. He wasn't able to defeat it. But in reality, you know, Anel was probably stronger than Luffy, and his Devil Fruit definitely overcame him. Um, so it's just one of those things where it's going to be an environmental effect. I think the fire in Luffy's Red Hawk will probably affect the mochi. I, I'm not sure. That's a, a theory that's been going around. But it's going to be something along those lines. Um, I just see such a similarity to where Luffy's going to have to be able to beat Katakuri at his own game, just like how he beat Anel at his own game. Um, uh, Anel is probably worth 800 million tier. Yeah, no, I agree. Like, Anel was much stronger than we believed him to be. It was just the natural weakness against Rubber. So I'm thinking Katakuri, if we, if we kind of, like, scale him down for a minute, we just kind of go back and backtrack ourselves. If we replace Katakuri with Anel... It's the same exact situation that they're in now. Um, they can predict the movement, so they're going to have to think and move opposite of what's going on now. So it's just kind of one of those things where it's like, you got to move one way, but think the opposite, or vice versa. And that's how you can defeat the observation hockey. Uh, Katakuri would lose to Sanji. Why do you think that? Uh, tell me why you think he would lose to Sanji. Um... But yeah, no, it's, it's just one of those things where it's a big similarity, and I, I might actually have to make a theory video on why Anel, uh, on basically how Luffy can beat Katakuri, and I hope you guys share it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to work on it this weekend for sure, and then I'm going to try and release it next week because um, I, I need to start doing some theory videos and stuff like that. But, I mean, it's, it's the biggest similarity. It's just like you just kind of scale it back back then. It's the same exact thing. They could predict the movements. Uh, obviously, they couldn't predict the future, but it's the same thing. We also see Katakuri getting frustrated for once. He says, "Look, I've never had anyone, I've never had anyone dodge this many attacks before." So it was frustrating him, and he was, and he was getting annoyed with it. You could tell. Uh, so that was really interesting to see. Uh, Sanji can cre literally create flames and Moki melts under his stream. He, yeah, no, you're right. That is true. That is very true. Uh, Bunny Honey. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know where you are. I, we're probably very similar area to where we are in the anime. I need to catch up and start doing actual anime uh, videos as well. But no, it's just one of those things where I just see the similarity. That That's all I can see right now. Unless maybe Oda forgot that Annette, like, we've already had this kind of situation. I feel like people looking at this are like, how are they going to defeat somebody who can predict the future? Well, they already did. Um, the priests already had the same mantra, same uh, the same exact um, uh, hockey. So it's just it's something that I feel like wasn't explained on back then. That's kind of inconsistent now, maybe in a sense. I don't know. I'm gonna have to write a script and read it uh, and get my thoughts together. Um, but yeah, no, it's, it's just one of those things where we'll have to see. I'm gonna do a video on it and talk to to Royce and see what he thinks. Um, don't like Luffy going Gear 4 since it's wasteful. Okay, a lot of people are saying Luffy's awakened. There's no way he's awakened. Um, there, there's just absolutely no way he's awakened. And this is because he literally goes, oh, wait a second. Um, wait, this is the same thing uh, Doflamingo did. Obviously, he doesn't know what awakened is, or he doesn't quite grasp the concept of it. So he's not awakened. Um, Luffy... Um, Oh, goodness, what was I going to say? So we have two awakened users um, other than the the jailers. And Luffy didn't really know what it meant. He's like, this is the same thing Doflamingo did. So it's just one of those things where I don't think Luffy is awakened because he doesn't quite grasp the concept of it. So, I mean, if there's a Gear 5, why didn't he use it against Doflamingo? Because one-on-one, -on -one, Luffy would not be able to defeat Doflamingo. He had to get the help of law the citizens you know he ran out of gear 4 energy like he ran out of hockey before he could defeat him so 
it's just one of those things. Uh, I just don't see a Gear Four or a Gear Five or Awakened anytime soon, just because how quick Dressrosa ended and all that stuff there. Uh, you want Whole Cake Island to end really badly. I do too, but I don't. The only reason why I don't now is because everyone's regrouping, and I want to see how this happens. I want to see how this ends out with Germa saving the Straw Hats, because that's going to happen. And then uh, what's going to happen when um, Capone meets up with the Straw Hats and Germa again? So it's going to be a it's going to be a meet up. Everyone's going to be full force again. Uh, where is it? I don't see Luffy being awakened, but there's a chance he could come up with Gear 5. Yeah, he could come up with it on the spot. Uh, if he sees Katakuri... Okay, the thing about Katakuri is, and I saw a theory video, it's like, whatever you can do, I can do better. And he's doing that to Luffy, because he's mimicking a lot of Luffy's moves. Uh, even the one where he twists up his arm and then spins it and hits him, that's, that's a move that Luffy has done multiple times, sent his opponent spinning... It's just one of those things. Um, Luffy could have beaten Dofi by himself since once he used Gear 4, Dofi acted like it was total trash. I, I'm going to disagree because it took the help of everyone. Um, it's just one of those things where he ran out of energy before he could finish him off. And if he couldn't hide, then he obviously wouldn't be able to get him. Like, if you put... Doflamingo and Luffy in a in a one on one, no hiding, no city, no nothing. Doflamingo would win, but we'll backtrack. We'll backtrack that. That'll be for another discussion sometime. Um, so back to kind of Gear Five. I think if Katakuri does something and Luffy gets the idea, the fighting idea, um, where he came up with it, just like how he came up with Gear Two and Gear Three, he kind of came up with it like that. He watched uh, CP Nine do their moves and then he came up with gear two so gear second so it was kind of one of those things where if he sees um category do something maybe there will be a gear five or if he th thinks of something interesting so we'll, we'll see how that ends up being i don't think it's something that he trained for uh i think it's going to be something where it might just come like that we don't realize how it came to be uh luffy is making bigger enemies in the marines and worse about it, his grandpa is one of them yep Oh yeah, Grandpa doesn't like it. But no, I, I think um, it's just one of those things where even even Dofla, if you say Doflamingo is stronger than Katakuri, then Luffy could not beat Doflamingo. You know, you get what I'm saying? Like, there's no way. Because <clears throat> uh, you said, where is it? Um, Katakuri... I don't know where you said it. It's somewhere there. I see Katakuri versus Luffy will pretty much be a draw like Luchi and Luffy. Yeah, I agree. I agree 100%. And the reason why... And I don't think Luffy was stronger than Luchi. I also saw this in a theory video that I agree with. I don't think Luchi was weaker than Luffy at the time. I think Luffy just had more passion and more to lose. And that's why he didn't give up. Like He won sheer, like just off of sheer dedication uh, and determination to win. So I think that's kind of one of those things where... Luchi wasn't weaker, it's just Luffy never goes for the killing blow. Yeah, exact. I mean, that's one of those things, yeah, for sure. Uh, Luffy never goes for the killing blow, sadly, which, I mean, you gotta respect. You gotta respect him for that. Um, but his opponents will. Doflamingo will. Uh, Luf um, Luchi, I mean, everyone will except for him. Even Zoro will, um, for sure. Uh, those two years Luffy was separated from his crew made him stronger than ever, and he's reaching new heights the more he fights. Yeah, agreed, agreed. Luffy is still stronger than Luffy. I don't, maybe not right now after Gear Fourth, but we'll see. It depends on how much they powered up, because now we have CP Zero, and they look very interesting for sure. Um, but we'll see for sure. We'll have to see. Um, I also saw a theory video that like. Each of the commanders have like big flaws that'll get to them, but I think I think this will happen. But it was interesting to see Katakuri awakened uh, and what else he can he can do. I think like the true definition of awakening is being like okay. So basically, the devil fruit, the Paramisi devil fruit. There's like four different kinds. There's the people who can create, the ones who can. I don't remember how to do it. They kind of they. Okay, so they create, they can make their own body into other things. Um, no, so it's produce, alternate their body, 
um, affects their body kind of like Brook and then there's a fourth one I can't remember what it was so I think uh, being awakened for a paramecia user is kind of mixing the two of those together so you have a paramecia who is awakened so not only can he like change his body into Moki he can change the area around him so it's it's kind of one of those things where his his, his so I think it, this is a theory video that I saw and I, I'm gonna have to like link it in the description or something so basically when you're awakened you have two or more of those um, abilities um, together so that kind of may be something with Blackbeard maybe he is awakened himself I don't know that way you can have two devil fruit users I don't know uh, devil fruit power so there we go create transform project uh, I believe it's like that yeah it's something like that yeah and then the fourth one is like it affects their own body like Brooke so yeah thank you thank you Xanax see this is why this is why you're the number one fan for real uh, <clears throat> But no, yeah, it's something like that. So I think, uh, not so he can transform his body, and then he can he basically can do all of those in a sense where he can create it, uh, and then transform the area around him as well as as well as his body. Because we saw somebody go in for that blow and it kind of split him in half, but he corrected himself. So he's not a logia. Uh, so it's it's just interesting to see that. Uh, I wonder if Carrot will be the na new Straw Hat member. I think she fits in well with them. She might be just because she has nothing to do. It depends on where they, how they s do separate ways. She might be up until Wano, and then after Wano, she might she might separate. So it just depends. Um, we'll have to see because I know Jinbei definitely is the next Straw Hat for sure. They might get two Straw Hat members, uh, but no, uh, Carrot and Jinbei will probably be both new no members. Yeah, I think. I think the only reason why I don't see Carrot being a member is because I see her... Well, she does want to become a war warrior of the sea or whatever it was the last chapter they said. So I think... Um, I think what I, well, my prediction is they'll, she'll temporarily join when they go to Zo or Wano and then um, the samurais leave or whatever after Wano is done. Then they're going to kind of part ways and she's going to go back to Zo unless she just sticks with them. Because uh, Luffy does want 10 members, so it, it might be interesting to see. Uh, okay, what else? I also think Pudding is going to leave Whole Cake Island, um, similar to uh, whatever her name is, Lola. I think I think that's what's going to happen. I think she's just going to leave because you see a lot of similarities between the two of them. Uh, what was I going to say? What was I going to say? I had one other thing to say, and I don't remember what it was. Uh, any final thoughts for you guys in chat? Uh, tell me what your comment, what your things are in the in the description in the oh my goodness in the comment se section. Let me know what your thoughts are on all the stuff we talked about. Uh, Jinbei's region, Arlong took over Nambi's town when he released him. Yeah, no, you're right. I remember that. That was a while ago. I don't remember what it was that I was going to say. Oh, my goodness. Oh, well. I kind of came up with it on the fly, too. But any final thoughts, guys? Um, oh, now I remember what I was going to say. They were so brief on the the awakening. He's like, oh, yeah, I'm awakened. My powers are awakened. Uh, don't forget to promote your Twitter and stuff. I will because nobody is following us on the Twitter and stuff. But, yeah, um, they just were so brief on the awakening. It was just kind of like, oh yeah, by the way, my powers are awakened. I, I mean, I guess, I just, I don't know. It's just, it was weird. How long was arrested again? Yeah, true. What do you guys think on the, like, how brief it was for them to, like, just barely talk about the awakening? It was just like, eh, he's awakened. Well, okay. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. It was just weird at how how brief it was. Um, but no. <clears throat> any final thoughts, guys? Uh, while they're typing any final thoughts, go ahead and I'm promoting the Twitter and stuff. So we got the Instagram, the Twitter, and the Snapchat. Go ahead and add and follow all of those. Uh, subscribe to Olive Grummer uh, and Olive Grummer Whiting. Uh, YT, Whiting, I was reading something. Uh, Olive Grummer, at Olive Grummer YT for the live streams. Um, guys, just, just 
over a month left and I can get live streaming back on the channel. I miss it so much. Tomorrow I will be doing Dragon Ball Super and I will be doing some Destiny 2 as well. Uh, just going to have some fun with some live streams. See see what we can get going on. And Awaken was expected with him being so high tier. Yeah, agreed. Agreed 100%. Uh, it wasn't a surprise. So I guess it is kind of a good thing that they... Uh, I guess it is a good thing that they kind of just briefly mentioned it. He's like, my powers are awakened. Okay, well, it was expected. Like, what else do you want? Uh, I see Luffy winning with plot armor. Yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. Kind of like an environmental thing, maybe. All right. G-Boy, you got any final thoughts? Uh, oh, wait, what happened to Arlong after Luffy defeated him? I didn't see that one, but yeah. I actually like Arlong as a character, to be honest with you. I think he's stronger than uh, we thought he would be. But, oh no, I think Arlong is stronger than... Arlong is definitely stronger than Horty Jones, hands down. I think Arlong would beat Horty Jones in a fight, but Horty Jones kept taking those pills, which made him kind of stronger. But you put them one-on-one -on -one against each other, Horty Jones is losing. But on that note, guys, um, I want Sanji to fight with Luffy. What? That'd be interesting, but I think Luffy would, would win. I think Luffy would win all of the fights, but I don't think he's the strongest on the crew. I think Zoro's stronger than Luffy. Um, just because, like, strength-wise, like, arm wrestling-wise, Zoro's stronger. Um, I think Frankie's stronger as well, just because he's a machine. And even though, even in the, uh, when we first met Frankie, uh, he was just as strong as Luffy physically. Like, when they punched each other and knocked each other out. Uh, Luffy would not beat Zoro. Oh, yeah, no. Luffy is, well, I don't know, it's close. Yeah, maybe he wouldn't, just because the swords aspect. Uh, I think this awakening will be something that will be interesting. Yeah, I think, hopefully... Hopefully this awakening has a different twist on it than Doflamingo because everyone's devil fruits are different. So we'll just have to see. Maybe everyone's awakening is different as well. But on that note, guys, I'm going to go ahead and end this awesome stream because I got a pack for tomorrow morning and uh, I'll be streaming tomorrow afternoon and night. So uh, we can straw hat is Usopp or Chopper. I think it might be Usopp. Like strength wise, it might be Usopp. Unless you're counting the girls. But who knows. Uh, Zoro's only toyed with his enemies. I don't think Luffy would beat Pika. Zoro, well, yeah, that's true. It's just too different. But it's too different. It's just so, yeah, it would be weird to put them together. Um, God, we keep getting into good conversations. <laughs> but no, I, I think you're right. Uh, I, I, you're 100% right. Zoro, Zoro has definitely only toyed with his enemies. Like, we haven't seen Zoro go all out since CP7, CP9, really. We've seen Luffy go all out against Crocodile, CP0, Doflamingo, and soon now. I think now he might go all out soon. Uh, we'll see, though. But no. Um, anyways, guys, for sure, for sure, let me go ahead and end this stream. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Check the links in the description below for Patreon, PayPal, donations. Uh, you can get your name popped up here on the live stream. Uh, Luffy went all out everywhere. Close. Uh, except for, like, the beginning fights <laughs> of the, uh, the very beginning, like against uh, Buggy and Arlong and stuff like that. He definitely didn't go all out then. And uh, Captain Kuro, which was my favorite villain at the time because he was so dope. But anyways, guys, that is enough for tonight. Thank you, guys. Donate if you want to see more content and like what you see. Uh, check the links in the description below for, for uh, if you're watching this later. Comment your thoughts. Comment your theories if you made it to the entire video. Thank you. Um, hey, we'll see you guys uh, tomorrow. Thanks for watching. In honor of Don Tanimal. <clears throat> uh, would you say Luffy went all out against Buggy and Arlong? No way. He did not go all out against Buggy. He just, like, did his gum gum bazooka and knocked him away. And then Arlong, he put up a fight, but he didn't go out, like, CP9 all out or against Crocodile. Like, he fought more against Crocodile than he did uh, stalling more. Yeah. We'll see. Buggy kept dodging. That's true. 
I th- I feel like Zoro goes all out in all of his things because he always just gets like hurt and destroyed and all that stuff. But Xanax, we will have to talk about this another time. I'm gonna be streaming some games tomorrow, so we can talk about it tomorrow for sure. Um, I gotta head to bed. I gotta wake up really early. So uh, I want to see Buggy Awakening. That would be wild. That would be Chop Chop Festival everywhere. <clears throat> Everything like buildings and stuff like that would just come apart. But all right, dude. See you, Xanax. And G boy. See you, G boy. <laughs>